the lives lost while making the ultimate sacrifice. The Charlotte County Sheriff's Office spent this evening remembering their fallen brothers and sisters alongside the Fraternal Order of Police. The emotional ceremony was held at the William R. Gaines Veterans Memorial Park. The Night Beats Taylor Wirtz had a chance to attend and she joins us now live from there. Taylor, how are people making sure these heroes aren't forgotten? Amanda, by making sure their memory is more than just a gravestone, by holding events like the one tonight to help people realize the immense sacrifice that comes with the job, and of course, by remembering them, how they lived more than how they died. A red rose in honor of the law enforcement officers who gave their lives in the line of duty, both statewide and around the country in 2023 and a pink rose, symbolizing officers killed in Charlotte County. To us, these are just colors, but to family, friends, and colleagues of the fallen, they each represent a loved one who will never come home after making the ultimate sacrifice. Let us not remember how these men and women died only, but remember how they lived. Nine law enforcement officers were killed in the line of duty in Florida in 2023, 137 nationally, and still fresh in everyone's mind at the Charlotte County Sheriff's Office, the death of Deputy Christopher Taylor, who was hit and killed by a drunk driver in November of 2022. He was just 23 years old. They cried up there this day, just mentioning his name, so it's just something that's still striking home and we drive past that site every day. And every time Deputy Clifford kisses his wife and children goodbye, he can't help but wonder if it could be the last time. Nothing's ever guaranteed. You can walk out the one day in uniform and not make it back. That's my biggest fear at this point. Because the sacrifice, he says, hey. is part of the job. I think at the end of the day, is just, again, it's just nothing's guaranteed. Just spend time with your family at the end of the day as much as you can. Deputy Christopher Taylor's family was here tonight. We asked if they wanted to speak with us, but understandably, they just weren't feeling up to it. They did say, though, that they're grateful to everyone holding events like this to help Chris's memory live on. On the night beat, Taylor Wirtz, Wink News. Very understandable.